Hi, it's Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle on the Red Chai map and we've got Buddy Pal from Fiddy Clan in the Scorpion G, the tier 8 uh, German premium uh, tank destroyer. He's uh, top tier in this game, tier 7 to tier 8 game. Um, and heading towards the hill where you can basically try and dominate um, the parts of the map. Um, and as you can see it's an encounter battle, so there's one cap and it takes a long time to cap this particular mode. So now you got spotted there, uh, it might have been the Type 59 that you can see. Now let's see what, um, what you can do here. So let's look at the outline, finds the Type 57, sets him on fire. And just to put him in, out of his misery, <laughs> gets the kill as well. So basically, with two shots, 1,100 damage. Now, unfortunately, I'm not seeing the outlines here. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, it's a bit of a replay bug. gets spotted and shot by Yak Panther, so he's got to just be aware of the um, threat from the left side there where they crest over the hill, but he's in good cover here. Yeah, T29's been spotted there, okay we can get some outlines so it's good. So he didn't get spotted there, okay right now that was what would have spotted him the LC that just died. Basically, it was probably what spotted him getting into position. So, fast moving light tank with good vision. It's about a couple of shots there that haven't connected. So, you can see the shell velocity of uh, standard rounds he's firing is 920. It does connect with the T34 1 that time, but so it just basically allow a bit of extra lead. And he's got a target 2 there, no problem going through. And again, not getting spotted here, so he's created a few trees that he's knocked down and gets rid of the T29. Um, yeah, so knocking down a few trees here has given him some extra coverage, which is uh, obviously very helpful, but he's really relying on the spotting from his own team. There's top Z132. Oh, it gets a nice hit there too. Would have just been a pixel shot. And gets another kill there. So it gives him his third kill there, getting on the stereo mill. So the teams are even on kills, but they're reasonably ahead on hit points. So that's a good sign. There is going. Tiger 2, another kill. So. Now they're getting a bit of an advantage here. And not just in the results, but you can see the enemy's been pushed back effectively into about a third of the map. That's what you call map control in Clan Wars, and this is effectively what's going on here. That you get lose more and more of the map to play in. You obviously have less and less features of the map to utilize for your own um, benefit. He's got to be careful where that ELC is going. So I'm going to really crest over the top of the hill there. First of all, you need pretty good gun depression to shoot down from there to things that are on the bottom of the hill. And uh, you're also exposed to tank destroyers and other sort of vehicles that are in the um, A3, A4 area. It's a little pocket that um, vehicles can hide in. Anyway, so get a shot into Leo there. Takes a big hit from the I-6 now. Didn't realise he was still lit up there. That's probably the Leo keeping him lit. And um, below his um, six cents marker would have gone off. That doesn't mean that you're not lit. Well, the Leo looks like he's pushing around to try and do something here. To go after Buddy Pal. 
and yes he is so he comes down tries to ram him but basically rams himself to death so it certainly takes some damage there from the Leo but um, basically the Leo had not sufficient health to carry out that maneuver and uh, the um, Scorpion G is a lot heavier tank than it might look and I shot there on the I-6 but he probably won't last long now there's really not there's only three tanks left in the game it's not a full 15 v 15 um, game there, buddy pals on five and a half k. There's really just two tanks now, or one tank now. There's the Super Hell Cat, and most likely around the A1 area. So buddy pals just looking out to see whether he's got a chance to get a shot. It's a blind shot in there just in case. So I'll have a look, see if five and a half k. Let's see what his final result is in a second. But I think that Super Hell Cat, well, there he is, is gone. So that is the battle, short and sharp. Let's go and have a look at the final results. So that was an Ace Tanker Mastery Badge there for Buddy Pal. And it ended up with 59.75 of direct damage, so that uh, blind shot did count. So that gave him the high caliber reward. Um, now, 14.60 base experience, nice level of EXP. And the ELC in 90 came out with 11.48, so. Um, also did 1911 of his own damage there, so yeah, excellent performance there from the light tank. Um, that really helps in terms of um, containing the battle. And the Stura ML he killed earlier in the game did 1447. That was the top damage for the enemy team, so yeah, they really didn't um, contribute a great deal. So he fired 17 shots. 14 hit and all of those penetrated it gave me his damage total um, very small amount of assisting damage and uh, had some battle payments and mission payouts um, which gave him a total income after tax of 186,000 uh, reflecting pretty much standard ammunition use as well so great game there from buddy pal uh, if you like this please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already Please consider subscribing. I'll have more great content like this for you through the week, and thanks for watching.